Hey everyone, my name is Pupsker and today we're going over the best resource farming method for Deimos, which is Requiem Obelisks. So the idea behind these obelisks is as follows. You have to jump out into your operator mode and attack the obelisk using your operator's amp using void damage. That will activate the obelisk for 90 seconds where generally the idea is if you kill enemies within the radius of the obelisk they will drop more resources and that can be like cambian drift resources mining fishing so it's such a fast quick easy and simple method to just farm up a bunch of cambian drift slash deimos resources the only trick is you do have to kill the enemies well for the most part with either your operator amp or your necromech i believe works as well but mainly you have to kill the enemies with like your operator's amp with void damage so that is kind of a pain if you're like me and you just don't have a good amp at all i just haven't bothered farming one but that being said this is still a great farming method that even someone like myself that doesn't have an upgraded good amp whatsoever can actually do and take advantage of so each of these obelisks have a different image associated with them and with that they have a different effect that actually goes off when you attack it with your operator. So I will go over each effect, each symbol, and what you actually have to do to acquire the extra resources because some of them are actually not the same. So let's go over it. The first one is fast. This applies a confusion effect to the enemies and that'll make them attack each other and that pops off every 12 seconds while the effect itself lasts six seconds and I don't believe you can kill the enemies while they are under the confusion attack but they can like kill each other so the way you get resources for under this one is confused enemies either kill each other or by your operator, or usually your necromech. Uh, necromech slash operator, I'm only going to continue saying operator though, because if you have a necromech, you can kill them using the necromech. If not, eh, oh well. So the second one is Jahu. That creates a 10 meter sphere that pushes enemies away. It doesn't deal damage, but it apparently procs impact on the enemies. It only functions when there is either a Warframe or an enemy within the radius of the Obelisk, but not just an Operator for some reason. And the resource acquiring method for this is just kill repelled enemies with your Operator. So pretty simple. This next one is Craw. This one simply slows down enemies within the range for every 12 seconds, while again the effect lasts 6 seconds. Pretty standard time for these uh, Requiem Obelisks. And the resources are acquired when you kill the slowed enemies with your operator. This next one is Lok. This one will damage the enemies every time it pulses. And very simply, damaged enemies, that is how you get the extra resources. So if the enemies are killed with the Lok Obelisk, they will drop the extra resources. If not, then they won't. So it is important to actually uh, remember when to kill them and when to just watch and hope it kills them all for you. Yeah, simple. This next one is Netra. Summons two friendly Deimos Tendril Drones. A maximum of four can be active at once. The tower will not reactivate until there's less than four of the drones alive. Drones are killed when the obelisk is deactivated, and then they become, you know, like lootable corpses as usual. And the resource acquisition for this one is enemies killed by the Deimos Tendril Drones will drop resources. So again, this is one of the ones where you just want to like hide out as your operator and not attack the enemies. This next one is Riss. This one blinds enemies in range for every 12 seconds. And again, the effect lasts six seconds. And to acquire resources from this one, you simply have to just kill the blinded enemies with your operator. So that one is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Next one is Vohm. This one tethers enemies, preventing them from leaving the obelisk. And this one is also very simple to acquire the resources. You just have to kill the tethered enemies with your operator. Again, very simple. Last but not least is Zata. This one randomly cycles into a different symbol when activated. Uh, when the 
like whole obelisk effect is over, it returns to Zata. So this one is the pure RNG, it just becomes one of the other obelisks. So that is how you activate all the obelisks and get all the resources. Very simple all in all. Now this is the general map that I made for where all of the Requiem pylons, or sorry, the Requiem obelisks actually are. So if you just run and check all of these spots, and if there's a obelisk there, quickly hit it and run it. If there's not, go to the next one and run that whole map that way. And once you're just done one run through it, go back into the Necrolisk, come out again, and then rinse and repeat that cycle. Like, there, as you can see, as long as you have your Arcwing Launcher, especially on Demo since it's one of these smaller places, it'll be very easy for you to actually get a ton of resources doing this farming method. Like, even myself with my crappy amp can do it, and I'm just very casual about it. I'm not min-maxing it whatsoever, and even I'm getting a ton of resources. Uh, one thing you can do is you can bring in a Warframe with a pull effect so it pulls enemies towards the obelisk just if you want to make everything a little easier, but in my opinion it's not necessary, but hey, you can if you want. Anyways guys, that's the end of this video. If you liked it, please check out some of my other videos, subscribe, comment down below if you want to see any other types of videos, like the video, and Follow my Twitter and Twitch where I might occasionally stream and I definitely tweet out stuff here and there. Important or not, eh, you know, it's a mixed bag, right? So, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Peace.